uh, would like to start off by telling you a little bit about uh, Bar One Racing, uh, how it began and where we're at, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, and our plans for moving forward, uh, what we do, the opportunities we have, and probably want to tell you a little bit how important our student workforce is to us, because essentially without our student workforce, uh, either in their years of study and indeed beyond that, we, we actually wouldn't be surviving. So we're very, very dependent on our student workforce nationwide. Uh, so without further ado, we'll just take you through a little bit of the history of the company and we'll take it from there. Bar One Racing, based very much in Dundalk, the head office is here in the Ramparts. It's a family run business. Barney O'Hare uh, is the owner of the company. Him, his wife and his family are very much involved, very much hands on with the company from day one. Uh, he started off 27 years ago with one betting shop in town. And it has evolved today uh, admirably over the years and has expanded enormously in lots of different ways, uh, which I'll tell you about as we progress. Um, Barney started off in the bookmaking industry. He would start off uh, actually on the race courses themselves, and he would have been in the leisure industry for many, many years. And uh, then after opening his first betting shop, things started to evolve. And the betting industry and the, the whole sporting industry essentially has grown uh, enormously over the years. It's growing from a very manual process whereby it was all working out odds manually and doing mathematics, longhand, etc., to now a very technology driven company and a te very technology driven industry, which is even has been exacerbated even further by the whole impact of COVID. So because of the serious changes in customer behavior and what have you over the last number of years, we have had to um, look at different avenues, look at different ways, look at our whole digital end, look at our online end, look at our app. And from 2018, we've started to look at that whole area. So really a family business with great family values, whereby our people are integral to our success. And Barney would have um, a great understanding of that and knowing that people come first, both sides of the counter, because if you haven't got a great team behind the counter or a great team dealing with your customers, you won't have a great co customer base. So uh, customer service and the whole family influence and the whole understanding of the values of our people is very, very important to us. So, whoops, sorry. So looking at today, as we stand today, we have 54 branches nationwide. And that is from Donegal to Cork and from Galway to Dublin. Uh, and in those branches, we currently recruit and recruit and have an excess of 200 staff employed. And we are recruiting actively throughout the country for further staff because of the fact that we are a seven day business and we trade seven nights. Another great positive for our students, actually, the fact that we have got such flexibility in hours. So 54 branches, which is a long way, 27 years on from the first branch that was opened. We have got housed in our head office here. We've got a admirable tele betting centre, which employs call centre staff. Uh, at the moment, we have around 50 staff. And again, we are actively recruiting there all the time. Again, great hours because we trade our tele betting from nine in the morning till around 12 midnight. Again, good hours and great flexibility for our student workforce while they're doing their studies. We've also, as I said, from 2018, uh, launched our website, which we've now just launched our UK license as well. So we can now trade both the UK and in Southern Ireland. And that is a, a growing concern with us, as are all the functions associated with the website and the whole digital side of the business. We're in the process of um, getting a new platform provider as we speak. So again, we recognize the need for great improvement in that area. We recognize that it's a, a very fast changing environment, the whole technology end. So we are constantly ramping up and improving that whole end of the business. But from 2018 and indeed with the onset of COVID, it has really taken precedence over a lot of the other, the, a lot of the other um, functions within our company. Okay. 
Just to uh, give you a little feel as to our head office department, our head office here is housed in Dundalk and we have within the head office department, within the head office function, we employ in the region of 50 staff. Most of these are full time employees and they cover a wide variety of different roles and different functions. Uh, we've got the operations function. We have our trading and risk team, which Fergal, who is with me, will talk about in more detail later. We have our audio, our studio broadcasting, our social media team. We have our product and content team. We have our building team and our display team, which displays to all our branches nationwide, which displays to all our website. We have courses at the hub of it all is our IT, our technology team. Uh, we are starting to build a stronger marketing CRM and a whole customer care team, which will become more and more prominent and more and more important as we expand online. We have an entire compliance team, which includes our security, which again, Fergal will talk about later because he's part of the security and compliance team. Of course, we have our accounts function and we've got our HR team. So there's lots and lots of different teams here that actually serve as our business. So. All of these little black squares that you see here have got a team underneath them all. And those people every day are there to produce the content, to display the content, to manage the content uh, that goes to our telebetting to service our customers there, that goes to our website to service our customers there, and that goes to our 54 retail branches. And the big thing to remember is these functions are very, very important because it's a very live, timely product. It's probably the most perishable product you'll ever deal with because at the kick of a ball or at the at the at the, at the drop of a service in tennis, the betting changes and all those live changes have to be recorded, have to be managed. And whilst most of it is done now through automation, there is still a lot of manual intervention to get all that going. So this is just to give you a feel for the different functions. So really people with business background, people with business degrees, uh, people with uh, stats background, maths background, social media, marketing, uh, we, we will need them all and we will want people like you to join us. So this is just to give you a feel for what we're actually at and what we're looking for. And this is what it takes to service one of our betting shops, not alone all of them and not alone our online and our tele betting. Our tele betting centre is also housed in our head office here at uh, the Ramparts in Dundalk. Uh, here we employ in the region of 50 staff and they are from full timers to part timers. Here we get great mileage and great service from our students because the hours suit perfectly. As I said earlier, we trade from nine in the morning till around 12 midnight. So we've always got hours there to cover and we've always got people. Uh, we always want people to do those more unsociable hours and what have you. And we find it suits perfectly for a lot of our students because when they're available, that's when we've got great needs. So we've got various different roles within the telebetting centre from uh, starting off as a call agent to a more advanced customer care agent to a supervisor to a manager. And we can actually um, advance people up through those different channels, even if they're part time or even if it's someone joining us as a student doing two, three days a week or two or three evenings a week can actually advance through those different levels with us, which we find is a great help to us and also a great help to the individual. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand you over to Fergal and he'll take you through our roles in retail that we have and he'll take you through briefly uh, the different stages that we have throughout our shop career from starting off as a new cashier. So the, these are the roles that apply to our 54 branches nationwide. Fergal. Hi. Yeah, so at the top there, you can obviously see that we start off as cashiers. Um, that's your initial role as, as you join the company. This is at the retail area. And from there, it, it's, it's then a long journey for any member of staff then if they want to get to the bottom, which is the district support manager. So. From cashier level, then you go to cashier plus. That's it. It a lot of this is down to how much effort is put in by the applicant themselves with regards to the timeline. So we can't really put an exact time of when you can move up, but it's it, it's up to the individual themselves. Um, you then move to cashier plus. That's after maybe six to eight weeks training. All training is provided on site by our shop managers and the shop team that have experience within the within the industry. Um, from cashier plus, then this is from your cashier to your cashier plus level, it, it, or 
the, the levels that you really help you whenever you're in a college um when you're working in college and you want to supplement your college life with regards to working in the industry with regards to there's so much to learn now that your your cashiers and your cashier pluses at that level you're working weekends um you're doing hours that suit the cat suit the, the college lifestyle if 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 you will um then obviously after that if, if you've got the interest in the industry and you want to move forward you will be getting help from us uh, on a daily basis to move then progress onto a deputy manager level as you can see there and um, a deputy managers level then you're obviously increasing your responsibilities um on a, on a daily basis so when the shop manager's not in the shop you will be in total control um obviously you'll have people helping you on the daily basis but you will then be in charge of money turnover that sort of thing um after that then the shop manager if, you, if, you, if you're a deputy manager and you build up a lot of experience, the shop manager area then will become available to you. Um, as Heather has already spoke, we, we have a lot of retail opportunities uh, ranging from some quieter outlets to some major outlets uh, throughout the country. So uh, depending on how far you're, you're, you're going, uh, you will start in the quieter ones and build your way up then to um, a senior shop manager. Senior shop managers will be considered somebody that has experienced a lot in, um, in the, on the daily runnings of things in the shop, which is which is really varied. Um, you're dealing with customers all the time. You're dealing with a shop staff that you have to do maybe rotas for. Um, your 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 people skills are really tested then to come up up to that level. Uh, you're dealing with shop turnover. It you how to increase shop turnover that sort of thing. And as a senior manager, that that comes into play. Um, obviously then at the bottom then you see district support manager at that level then you, you've managed a shop for a long time you're aware of the ins and outs of how to run a shop on a daily basis but then you're, you're also then in charge of a certain area so you could be dealing with anything up to 20 shops on a daily basis that's um, dealing with shop rotas etc which I'm going to discuss more now on the next slide because this is probably the best way of discussing this would be through my own experiences. Um, so I started with Bow and Racing 10 years ago now this week. Um, so my my major reason for getting into the industry initially was that I, I played a lot of sports. I had an interest in, in, in numbers at school with regards to maths. They were my, was my favourite subject. And I felt that from the outside looking in, I felt that the, the industry really catered for somebody that was wanting to work with sports on a daily basis while also using their heads with regards to um, numbers, etc. Um, so that's my initial reason for getting involved. Um, I obviously started on the previous sl um, slide, you would have seen cashier, etc. So I would have started on the cashier level and I would have progressed the whole way um, through cashier, cashier plus, I then would have went on then to be offered the opportunity to be a deputy manager, a uh, senior manager, and then after after years, then the the role of district manager became available, and I moved into that end of things. Um, with regards to the progress, the progression that was it's it's all down to yourself again. As I say, I would have took all the information in, um, and moved from there, and 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 took it on myself for myself, and would have wanted to when I seen the progression was there and possible within the industry. I would have wanted to get to the top of that, and it, and it was, it was good that you could see that there was this progression within the industry. And I think from looking at my own experiences, it is it has never been stagnant. You can always move on, and if if one position you feel that you've got the most out of it, there is another opportunity to move on. Um, obviously, then within when I, when I did, eventually got to the district support. Um, role it, it it completely changed things with regards to i mightn't have had as much dealings on the shop floor end of things but i would have experienced more things like recruitment so i would have been involved with interviewing potential candidates to join and i would have been discussing maybe why they wanted to get involved and and, and what they could gain from being part of bow and racing and um, so i would have got a lot out of that and um, i would have also then been dealing with the likes of wages, um, time sheets, etc. Um, dealing with progressing staff then. So tra staff training would have been a big part because anybody that joins the team, there is a lot to learn and 
you need people with experience to be passing that on. Um, so I would have got a lot out of that and I would have enjoyed that. After that, then that, that's at the shop end. So I would have had years for doing that. I would have been maybe that would have been seven years. And then the opportunity, obviously, as Heather discussed, we then moved on to the online end of uh, the gaming industry. So the opportunity then came to me maybe even to to change my avenue. Um, so I got to come out of the shop industry, uh, the, the shop end of things. So I wouldn't have so much had hands on with the general public. And I was now helping to produce uh, what you will see, I'm sure a lot of what you would have seen, maybe like your online betting um, apps, which we, we now have, and it's a work in progress. So I would have then been working behind the scenes more and producing a product um, that would get us in line with all of our competitors. Um, so, I mean, you're going from dealing with customers and staff on a daily basis to then having the opportunity then to go into a completely different end of things um, with regards to the industry. I mean, I'm I handling money on one d on day and then suddenly I'm dealing with the online and then you're not really dealing with people anymore. You're dealing with a product that you're that you're giving out to people. So I would have seen people, not that I would have been doing it myself, but you're dealing with people that are good with graphics, that sort of stuff. You're from start to finish of the product, we handle all in house. So the graphics that you see online is all produced from us. The results of all results, so that people are getting their bets settled, etc., uh, is all in house. So I would have got to see the the workings of how an, an online site, which I never thought I would have seen, um, of how to produce something that is an online product. So I really enjoyed that, and it it, it shows I think the diversity. I mean, as a student looking in. Uh, that you can start from cashier and then you're you're suddenly dealing with the online end of things. So it's pretty diverse and there's a lot of opportunities there. Uh, finally, then after that, having seen this for two years, as again, I would say that you, after such a journey, you, you, you will get to sort of see what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy within the roles because there is, it is so diverse. So after two years of that and seven years of the previous, I would have seen that I more enjoyed working with people. Um, so I then got the opportunity to go into my current role, which is the security and audit compliance. Um, so on a daily basis, what I would be doing there is helping our state of 54 shops with regards to any staff, which staff now come and will need help um, on a daily basis. I and mean, when you can't be hands on and there for them, we have an instant live messaging service. We're on the phones. Any any situation that arises within a betting shop, we're there for support, basically. So we would be fit to use our experience then to pass it on to any member of staff which has joined. So I, I think from speaking from my own um, journey, as you can see, I'm with Bar One Race in 10 years, and I think I've got to experience most things um f from from starting out as a cashier the whole way up to uh working with 25 shops all at once and then the online end of things and now i'm full circle and i'm back helping people that are starting the position that i would have been starting on so it, it really is wide a uh, range of reasons for getting into the industry in my eyes um i'll now just go on to the next example as i said I got into the I got into the industry because of my interest in sport and numbers and although that is it is a big advantage it's not a necessity um as you will see here one of our senior shop uh, managers is with us for eight years Nicole is now managing one of the busiest shops in Ireland and as she will see in her own words her her initial reason for getting into the industry wasn't because she had a huge interest in sport or numbers like myself uh her reasons were for interacting with people being involved in a fast environment it's it, it's never a dull moment um if you're if you're in a, a busy shop and um, people that people that know the industry or maybe have been in betting shops will have seen that that it, it, it is all go and it, you're dealing with live um races all the time so you, you have to be switched on throughout the day and um, so my reasons for getting into the industry and the coals would, would be completely different but at the same time, we both enjoy it. So um, it, it, it's not set to one person of what they really like. It, it, it's so broad. Um, this is an example of that. And I, I then just want to speak more about basically 
who I'm speaking with now is, is students. So an example of one of our student um, employees then is, is Eunice, who, who has worked her way up to a deputy manager level, um, whilst also getting her degree in accounts and finance in DCU. And she's currently still um, going on to study in marketing for a marketing degree. Um, so I, I think Eunice is a good example for, for people that I'm talking to today with regards to she has used this industry for um, to subsidise her college life. So we're, we're obviously a lot of hours in, in our industry with regards to you're working from the shops or working from nine in the morning until nine at night in some cases. And these hours are, are good for for people in, in college situations with regards to um, the flexibility. So you will get your college work done, you will you, you'll have get your studying done, all that sort of stuff that is obviously more important to use. And then you will you, you will come and you will also experience the working life with regards to dealing with people on a daily basis and also getting new experiences, getting new um, skills uh, on, on a daily basis. And Eunice is a perfect example of that. So it, it shows that we are we 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 are an industry which really is good for student life um and we will work around uh this obviously accommodate for students to continue on in their studies which which is obviously very important to them um so Eunice has obviously got herself up to deputy manager level quite quick so it it's all got to do with how much you put in and everything will be provided obviously for for getting to that level as soon as possible Um, and, and finally, then uh, another example then I want to show is, is that Eunice obviously is still studying um, and, and has 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 subsidised her college life through working with ourselves and, and done both and both run smoothly together. Connor then is another example of the next level of things with regards to Connor has obviously got his business and has recently joined our team. So he's with Barwon up on seven months and he is part of our risk and trading team. So again, that's another avenue for students with regards to his career uh, progression um, starts in one area and, and he's using the degree that he got from college to to really help the company grow. Um, so on a daily basis, he's using his degree. So, I mean, it, it, it shows that the industry itself caters for people that want to be in the industry full time, part time while at college. And it also has positions within it that uh, people with a degree can then go on and use it and, and, and go different avenues and really get the best out of the degree um, while also helping the company grow. Because obviously, as Heather said, Bowen Racing is a growing company and will always be looking for skilled and educated people to join the force. So. I think that is it, it shows the wide variety of people that we are looking for. Very much so. Um, I'll pass you the header now. That's great, Virgil. Thank you very much. Um, that is basically what we have to present to you. Uh, we're more than welcome to take your questions if you have any, or you can come back to us uh, via our hitch or email or you can uh, talk to us individually. We can get all the details through to you at a later date. We just wanted to give you a little feel today, not with too much detail as to what we're all about and what we have on offer. Because generally when someone walks into a betting shop to have a bet, uh, they don't see what goes on behind the scenes or the amount of detail required or the amount of skill and knowledge required and the various different, the various different um, uh, levels and different departments that it takes so that somebody can come into the counter and have a little bet with us. So there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. And for the right people who are interested in, in be it sport, be it maths or whatever, or even just interested in interacting with people, there is lots of opportunities and we would love to hear from you. So that's basically it. Uh, perhaps I can hand back to you, Catherine. Absolutely, Absolutely. Heather. Heather. Um, Thank you so much to yourself, Heather, and to, to Fergal for taking us through in a really useful way with, with, with the stories of individual employees, your own story, um, Fergal, and th then the others in terms of, of, and congratulations on your decade with Bar One Racing. And I'm, I'm sure it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's good that you can celebrate it. Um, and I think that also shows another aspect as well of career progression, which is really important to our students. We do an annual survey each year of graduates and ask them, you know, what's important to them on, on the places that they select 
to go to, to, to work in. And in the top three each year, it is career progression within the company. So that idea of being able to grow and develop your skill whilst you're in the company is really important. So, yeah, I think it's been really useful to see if you're a student that there is the facility to work with Bar One Racing um, and an acknowledgement that you are a student, that you will be able to get your, your studies completed and, and your assignments done with the acknowledgement of that with, with Bar One Racing. And then I suppose the idea of... Um, of those graduate roles and I know a question will come through here and we are encouraging students to drop any questions into the chat if you're if you don't want to unmute your mic and, and ask the questions directly but I think a, a colleague of, of, of mine um, has asked a question just in terms of placement is that something that 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 you're um, open to considering students who are going out on placement as part of their degree Catherine, yes, we, we are open to consider it most certainly, depending on what they specifically were wanting to get the placement in. You know, we would want to make sure that we were able to do the job properly and we had enough resources in-house that would benefit the yeah. person. Absolutely. But yes, it is something that we would be open to. Yes. You're open to considering. That's great. Yes. Because often that's the way in which students learn and have a lead in to, to sort of employment positions. Um, just a question in there in terms of the top skill that you're looking for in an employee. You talked really strongly there about the skills that you can develop, but getting in the door is probably the, 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 the area that most of the students are thinking about. And what is it that you would see as being the top skill or what people should be putting on their applications or CVs that are sending into you? Catherine, it, it depends on what they're coming on board for. If it's a student coming on board initially just to get a part time job with us, we really need people that are personable, people that are willing to learn, people that are good communicators, people that are good for if it's front of house or good on the mm -hmm. phone or and that have a desire to do well. People that want to work with a small team of people and uh, I suppose that are flexible. Mm. Yep. So uh, there's no uh, specific skills for the ordinary person to come on board and do some cashier duties or to do some tele sure. uh, call centre duties, but we need them to have that natural ability to interact well, to perform well, that are diligent, that are prepared to learn, and uh, the rest we can actually we can actually train and give to them, you know. Great, great. Yeah, that, that's coming through really strongly that that I suppose that idea of having interest and motivation. And once you have that, I think that was clearly outlined by what Fergal said as well. Once that's there, then you can you can build on it. And um, there's a, a specific question coming in here um, from from Anthony, who would work with, with, with students in the area of, of the computing side of, of the house or our, our design and opportunities for web development, UX, UI graduates who have skills in that particular area. Maybe you could take us through any opportunities that you see that that skill set fitting a lot of our web developing at the moment we actually outsource so okay. in terms of that developing as our team gets bigger and as our online gets bigger absolutely there will be opportunities there but at the moment because we would outsource a lot of our back-end work and a lot of our project work for the development side uh in-house we don't develop at the moment but it, as we get bigger yes those opportunities will be there Right. OK, OK. Um, I suppose and, and the, the, the other question then is around applications. So email HR at bar one racing dot IE. Is there a sort of a cover letter which you're acquiring saying the type of, of, of position you're looking for? Maybe a little bit of detail on what you think would be useful for students who are whetted their appetite by listening to you today. Yes. Get your CV in, uh, give us a little cover note confirming what you're available for, first of all, um, the hours that would be ideal for you. Uh, as I said, we are a seven day business. We trade from nine in the morning till 9.30 at night in the retail. Our tele betting is from nine in the morning till 12 midnight. So it's just giving us a little bit of feel about what you are looking for, first of all, and uh, your availability. Are you available three days a week? Are you available weekends only, etc.? Because okay. essentially we need people any any day out of seven days, essentially. That's what we're looking for. So a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your previous work experience. Uh, that's, that's essentially what we need. We will come back to you then accordingly. Great. Just Great. Get, get in touch with us. That's the big one, Catherine, you know. OK, and I think think, you know, that that's what we're, we'll spread the word about. Just it's it's occurring to me that some um, that, that maybe 
exposure or, or opportunities for training within what you do as well maybe induction and, and, and maybe somebody who's saying like I don't really know much about gambling myself or maybe putting bets on do I need to know the world in order to, to, to get into so maybe you could give us maybe an insight into the type of induction that you might provide Catherine, you really don't need to know very much about sport or about betting. Absolutely not at all. We do provide full training from day one. There's training manuals. There's online training. There is uh, you're taking through your induction. The first four to five weeks, you would be shadowing someone completely during your training. Uh, when you're confident and when we're confident uh, that you know what you're doing, you would then be let loose. So there would be there is no essential requirement to either know about or have an interest in sports or betting. We do provide the full training. But what is required that when we give you the documentation and when we take you through the daily briefs, etc., that you're willing and open and want to learn and want to know more, because it's the type of environment you have to you have to have an acquiring mind. You have to you have to be a bit of a sponge. You have to take it on board because it's such a live environment and there's mm -hmm. such a lot of product going on around you that's constantly changing it's very yeah. fast paced yeah yeah okay okay and that will appeal to you if you're listening to that you'll know if that's the type of environment that sort of excites you and you, and you want to engage with there um the, the question always comes up um uh, and it's around payments and and rates and salaries and that type of thing so the just a question has come through on maybe even just the hourly rate for the cashier or generally what you could say about salaries and payment Cashier hourly rate starting, we start at 10.50, but however, the cashier is, and then if you work uh, some days, there's a premium payment, the cashier assessment, then upon completion, you go up another grade. And then if you go to a cashier plus, you go up another grade and deputy manager, etc. So there is there's several steps on the ladder. Uh, but we do tend to look at individuals as well. And if someone is coming in with a uh, substantial amount of experience in certain cash handling areas or in certain other customer care areas, we would look at that individually. Perfect, perfect. I'm just putting into the chat to anybody who's listening um, live or to those who are listening later on a uh, recording, I'm just putting in that email address into the chat function here so that you can um, access that and, and submit a CV and a cover letter as well. Um, CV and cover letter. Perfect. Um, I suppose generally you've given such a strong overview and a great insight into into the opportunities and how you can grow and expand within the the, the sector. I'm sure emails will be um, forwarding or coming your way. Um, and of course, we promote um, jobs on our own careers to connect platform to students who are, are logging on as well and that we have current jobs available up on online on our platform connected to bar one racing also. So I suppose other than that, just to leave it by saying thanks to everybody for tuning in live and um, thanks for those who are, are looking back on demand and a special thanks to Bar One Racing, to Heather and to, to Fergal for sharing their lunchtime with us today. Thank you very much. No problem, thank thank you. you, Catherine, and thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.